Okay, now that your video has been completely published, completely processed, and 100% live and ready to go, um, you'll see the name of it right up here and a little snapshot of the video here. You're also going to see a lot of function buttons down here at the bottom, these gray boxes. But you will see the number one function we need to use, which is download mp4. This file is going to be compatible with iMovie, so let's click on that. And you'll see that it's downloading right there. And it's available on your computer and it's opened up. But we don't really need that, so we'll just close it out. I'm going to go find my video on my computer. It's in my downloads folder. Of course, can't find it. So I've got to get it from my downloads folder, which is quite the process for me, obviously. And you'll see it here, oceanclip.mp4. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to drag it and put it on my desktop so I can easily find it. So I don't have to search through my downloads folder all the time. There, now I know it's on my desktop as a .mp4. So now we're going to open up iMovie. Select the, f select the file import movies option. I'm going to scroll my desktop, find the video, and select import. Now I want to add it, I want to create a new event for that. So I'll call it ocean clip so I can keep track of it, then select import. And it's now copying the files and generating the thumbnails in iMovie so we can edit the video. I'll just show you what that looks like and you're done. You'll see the thumbnails here, and now we can begin dragging and dropping into the storyboard and editing the movie.